This question is absolutely awesome because it means I can put this on your final exam and actually make you derive the whole thing, um, which is great. So we got a skier on a surface. I'm going to set up a little page here to put some solution notes on. Yeah. All right. So um, with that in mind, we have a skier of mass M, and they're skiing down this hill. And first thing we want to do, of course, is we want to draw a free body diagram. Let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, so I'm going to have a normal. Oh, by the way, actually, before we do that, make sure you stop and read the question. So um, it says here, label all the forces. So we're going to have a normal on the skier. We're going to have the weight of the skier. And we're going to have this air resistance force, um, F, that I'll call negative BEV. And... Um, that's basically how this is going to work. Um, so that's how we label all the forces. Now here's the thing, let's actually write the differential equation that um, can be used to solve for the velocity. Let me actually go here to the second page and draw a more detailed free body diagram. So I have the normal force, I have the weight, I'm gonna have negative BV, is that right? It is negative BV. And let's talk about this. I'm going to have two parts to this force. I'm going to have mg sine theta, and I'm going to have mg cos theta. And so I have n minus mg cos theta equals zero. Now, as far as the skier goes, I'm going to have mg sine theta minus bv equals m times a. And this is where we get to the point where we're actually going to write our differential equation. And that's going to be mg sine theta minus bv equals m dv dt. Which is really nice. Right. Now, it's this determinant expression for the terminal velocity of the skier. That's part c. So for part c, again, we remember that um, at terminal velocity, a equals zero. So we're going to have mg sine theta minus bv equals zero, and we're going to end up getting a terminal velocity equal to mg sine theta over b. Wonderful. Now, um, in the next um, part, I'm going to actually help you set up the equation to solve the differential equation, and we'll do that in the next video.